Okay, good morning students. So now we are going with the next chapter that is called ellipse. So ellipse usually it is divided into two parts. Ellipse is divided into two parts. One is known as a horizontal ellipse and another one is called the vertical ellipse. So I will be doing only the horizontal ellipse. Please listen this ellipse carefully, the concept of ellipse. I will be doing only horizontal. In case of vertical, please do it yourself. When you complete with the vertical uh, ellipse, make sure you send the, uh, click the picture and send in my own messenger, all the students. So here, listen this horizontal ellipse carefully because ellipse and hyperbola is almost same. There's only a little bit difference with the uh, eccentricity only. So almost it is same. So listen carefully with this horizontal ellipse. This is the horizontal ellipse. Here, this becomes the center of the ellipse. And now from this point to this point, let me take this one as a capital A and take this one as a A dash. So from this center to till this point, the distance taken here is nothing but a distance is A. Distance is A. Let me write here. Distance is A. So therefore this A is called the vertex point. Here vertex point will be A comma zero. Now since we have two vertex in case of ellipse, we call that one as a vertices. So another point will be here, which is, let me take this one as a V dash. V dash is negative A comma zero. So therefore, first point we are going to write is coordinate of vertices. We are not vertex, but vertices but in parabola we have only one vertex so therefore we call vertex but this case we have two vertex we call this one as a vertices v v dash will be plus or minus a comma zero the next point what we are going to write here it is equivalent to see this point we call this one as a focus but in case of ellipse we have to focus so that is why we call that one as a foci so please remember from this center to vertex uh, sorry center to focus the distance is given by a e distance is given by a e so therefore focus point here will be a comma zero similarly this side let me take s dash which is negative a comma zero please the important concept is from center to this vertex the distance is a units and the from center to till this focus the distance is a e where e stands for the eccentricity of the ellipse so therefore coordinates of foci we call this one as a now foci not focus is we have s s dash is plus or minus a comma zero next one we will see is length uh, length of length of major axis length of major axis here this is called the length of major axis and from this point to this point let me take this one as a b b dash this is called the minor axis, length of minor axis. From center to till this here is a length of semi-major axis. A to A dash becomes a length of major axis, but center to till here A becomes the length of semi-major axis. So length of major axis, which is along x-axis, along x-axis is equivalent to 2a units definitely we have from this point to this point a definitely this point to this point becomes a so total length it becomes is 2a units so length of major axis which is along x-axis for horizontal ellipse major axis is along x-axis and minor axis is along y-axis for vertical i will tell you later now similarly, length of, under this length, length of minor axis. 
land of my races, which is along my races is along y axis. We have along y axis is equivalent to to be units because from here to here the distance taken is b, from here to here the distance taken is a. b plus b becomes the 2b. We have 2b units. Number four, equation of major axis. Equation of use the concept that we have learned under parabola. Equation of major axis. Right now, major axis is along y axis. It does not lie on the uh, sorry, major axis is along x axis. It does not lie on the y axis. So when do you write equation of major axis, you are going to write y is equal to zero. That means major axis does not lie on the y axis. If it does not lie on the y axis, obviously it will lie on the x axis. Similarly, equation of minor axis, when comes to equation of minor axis, where is the minor axis? Minor axis is along the y axis. It does not lie on the x axis. So therefore, x is equivalent to 0. Number 5, we are going to see equation of directrices. Because here we have two directrices. One directrices we have seen under parabola. Here we have two directrices. That is, one directrices is summed here. Say D1, D1 dash. And another directrices will be here because we have two focus points. Here it is D2, D2 dash. Now, let from this center to till this directrices, the distance is given by A by E. Distance from center to directrices is given by A by E. Center to vertex distance is A. Center to focus distance is A. And center to directrices the distance is A by E. Now since it is intersecting x axis, we have x is equal to A by E this side. And then here x is equal to negative A by E. So therefore, equation of directrices is x is equal to plus or minus a by e. Symbol as that one. Number six, we have land of lattice rectum. Land of lattice rectum is given by 2b squared by a. Please get thorough with 2b squared by a units. This is the length of the lattice rectum okay so now last point we will see here it is number seven coordinates of coordinates of lateral rector now let's see in this case coordinates of lateral rector see this is a lattice rectum a line passing through the focus is called Let's track them. Say this one is L1. This becomes L1 dash. This L1, what's the coordinate? You know, from here to here, the point, the distance is A. What about the distance from here? This distance becomes B squared by A. Because L1 to L1 dash is a length of let's track, which is 2B squared by A. Half of this becomes B squared by A. So this point will be a, this is the x value, and what's the y value? B squared by A. Similarly, L1 dash, what's a, here x coordinate, it is A, but what about y coordinate? It is in negative quadrant, so this becomes negative B squared by A. Similarly, this side, another lattice rectum is there. Say this is L2, this one is L2 dash. What's the L2? From here to here, what's the distance? Point now coordinate point is negative a. What about this one? This becomes b squared by a. What about this point now? Coordinate point is negative a. This point is negative b squared by a. But otherwise, when you write coordinates of lateral vector, you will write plus or minus a comma plus or minus 
v square by a plus or minus a comma plus or minus b square by a then no need now now you don't need this okay because the focus lies on the x-axis you can write this one as a uh, the points are take one positive value one positive value b square by a or one positive value and another negative value negative b square by a and one negative value and another positive value last one it is one negative value and negative b square by a so now the last one what we'll see here is we will see the equation of this ellipse we have seen the major axis along the x axis so equation of this ellipse is given by x square by a square plus y square by b square is equivalent to 1 major axis is along x axis yes or no major axis is along x axis this is the major axis so a will be below x minor axis is along y axis it will be below y then the number eight point we have eccentricity eccentricity in this case will be always less than one and it's given by e is equal to root of one minus b square by a square or you keep this formula b square is a square of one minus e square now ellipse you need the eccentricity value less than one in order to have eccentricity value less than one you need to subtract but in case of hyperbola eccentricity value should be greater than one in order to have greater than one here becomes plus it is easy to remember then here eccentricity value less than one means definitely modulus of sp divided by modulus of mp is less than one in case of ellipse in case of parabola modulus of sp divided by modulus of mp was equal to one but this case is less than one which implies modulus of sp is less than modulus of mp definitely a small number divided by a greater number will definitely will give less than one so which means if this is a horizontal lily from s to p and p to m p to m s to p and p to m this distance will be always less than mp if this is two units mp becomes three units then only two divided by three the value will come less than one that is why in case of eccentricity here the eccentricity value is always in case of ellipse eccentricity value is always less than one so i want you to do the vertical ellipse now in case of vertical ellipse this a will be on the y-axis this is a vertical ellipse if this is a vertical ellipse vertical ellipse this is a vertical ellipse vertex will be on the y-axis this will be zero comma plus or minus a when it comes to focus focus also will lie on the y-axis in case of horizontal ellipse vertex focus directions is always on the x-axis but in case of vertical ellipse this a will be on the y-axis this will be zero comma plus or minus a length of a major axis length of a major axis will be along y-axis but it will be two a units only length of minor axis in case of vertical ellipse it will be along not y axis along x axis please do it equation of major axis it's on the y axis it does not lie on the axis the axis is equal to zero just check opposite equation of minor axis will be y equal to zero because minor axis is along now x axis it does not lie on the y axis equation of directors will not be x here it will be y y equal to plus or minus a by e Length of lattice vector will remain same. When it comes to coordinates of lateral vector, you will just change the position because A now lies on the y-axis. Plus or minus B squared by A, comma plus or minus A by E. Similar. Its intensity will remain same. Please do vertical ellipse. Try yourself. If you have any doubt, please ask. Thank you.